In this video, we're going to discuss the discounted payback period method. So the discounted payback method says that a company is going to accept a project if the discounted cash flows that it receives for that project pay for the initial investment within a specific time frame. So this is basically the same thing as the regular payback method, only we're taking into consideration the time value of money by discounting the cash flows. So let's do an example. So if we have a project with the following set of cash flows, where in year zero, zero that's today, we have a cash outflow of $39,500, and then we have a series of cash inflows over the next three years. We have $20,900 we received in year one, 15,730 in year two, and 19,965 we receive in th year three. Okay, so then the question is, how long does it take this project to pay back, but we're gonna have to do some discounting. We're gonna have to discount these cash flows to the present value, okay? So let's say that the company uses a discount rate of 10%, and that it requires any of its project, if it's gonna do a project, it has to pay back within two years, okay? And after discounting the cash flows, it has to be within two years, okay? So if it's longer than two years for this project to pay back, we're not gonna do it. So basically, we're gonna to have to go and we're gonna take 20,900 and we're gonna discount it, okay? You could use the formula for the present value of a single cash flow. So it'd be one plus R, which is 10%. Uh, uh, to the first power, okay, and then you would discount 15,730 would be uh, divided by 1.10 to the second power, and so forth, okay? So I've I've discounted the cash flows here for you because I, I really wanted to focus on the payback method and not so much the time value of money, which you've probably gone over before. So here are our discounted cash flows. Now you see that the amount for year zero is actually exactly the same because there's no reason to discount, like the 39,500, we're paying that out today. So it doesn't need to be discounted because it's happening right now. But the other cash flows, they each need to be discounted. Okay, so we're gonna discount the 19,000, or, or excuse me, the 20,900 becomes 19,000. That's after we've taken the 20,900 and divided it by uh, 1.10, okay? And then the 15,730 after being discounted two periods at 10% becomes 13,000. And then the 19,965 after being discounted at 10% for three periods, it becomes $15,000. So right here we have the discounted cash flows. So now let's go over and just pretend like it's a regular payback problem where we say, okay, we have to recover 39,000 five hundred dollars that's up front what we put up but then year one we recover nineteen thousand so we got nineteen thousand so now that leaves us with twenty thousand five hundred that is left because we recovered nineteen thousand discounted right we discounted it and so we still have twenty thousand five hundred to go now period or year two here we get thirteen thousand so now at that point, we get 13,000. There's 7,500 that is yet to be repaid. If you're wondering what these numbers are, I'm starting with the amount 39,500, the initial investment, and then saying, okay, we received uh, 19,000 in the first year after discounting it. So then that brings us down to 20,500 to be repaid. And then after we get 13,000 discounted, in year two, we have 7,500 left. To be repaid that's 20,500 minus the 13,000 is 7,500 okay so now it's been two years and now during year three okay sometime between period two and period three or three we, this is uh, we're gonna pay back okay the investments gonna pay back because we're getting 15,000 and 15,000 is more than the 7,500 that we needed so actually what we're gonna do we're gonna take the 7,500 and we're gonna divide it by the 15,000 and that's gonna give us 0 0.5. So we know that the project paid back sometime between year two and year three, okay? And so it's clearly now it's 2.5 years is the discounted payback period for this project, okay? Th another way of thinking about it is this. After two years time, we received $32,000. And our initial investment was 39.5, so that meant 7,500 still to be repaid. And sometime between year two and year three, we get this 15,000 and we're just gonna assume that, okay, so that 15,000, 
We got half of it uh, after the first six months of the year.